The demand equation for a certain product is given by P equals 138 minus 0.065x, where P is the price in dollars of the product and X is the number of units produced. The total revenue obtained by producing and selling X units is given by R equals X times P. We're asked to determine the prices that would yield a revenue of $7,770. So for our first step, let's write the revenue function as a function of x. So we'll substitute 138 minus 0.065x for p in the revenue equation. So that would give us revenue equals x times 138 minus 0.065x. And now our goal here is to determine the price when the revenue is $7,770. So now we'll make a substitution for R. We'll substitute 7,770 for R. And now we have an equation with one variable. We have an equation with only X. So we'll solve this equation for X, but just keep in mind, our goal here is to find the price that would yield a revenue of $7,770. So once we solve this equation for X, We'll have to come back and find P using this equation here. So for our first step in our equation, let's distribute X. So we have 7,770 equals, let's write the X squared term first. So negative 0.065 X squared, and then plus 138 X. Because we have a quadratic equation, let's set it equal to zero. So we'll subtract. 7,770 on both sides of the equation. So now we have 0 equals negative 0.065x squared plus 138x minus 7,770. Well, we're not going to be able to factor this, so to solve this quadratic equation, we'll be using the quadratic formula shown here for review where a is the coefficient of the x squared term, so a equals negative 0.065, b is equal to the coefficient of x, which is 138, and c is the constant term, which is negative 7,770. And now we'll substitute a, b, and c into the quadratic formula. Let's do this on the next slide. We'll have x equals in the numerator, we have negative b, that would be negative 138, plus or minus the square root of b squared, that'd be 138 squared, minus 4 times a, which is negative 0 0.065, times c, which is negative 7,770. All this is divided by 2 times a, which is 2 times negative 0.065. And now let's go to the calculator and determine our two solutions. We'll have two solutions because of the plus or minus here. Let's let the first solution be x sub 1 and the second solution be x sub 2. We want the entire numerator in a set of parentheses. So we'll have open parenthesis for the numerator and then negative 138 Let's first use the plus sign, so plus square root, and then we have the square root of 138 squared minus 4 times negative 0 0.065 times negative 7,770 right arrow to get outside of the square root, close parenthesis for the numerator, and then divided by, we also want the denominator in a set of parentheses, so open parenthesis, 2 times negative 0 0.065, close parenthesis, and close parenthesis, and enter. So the four decimal places, x sub 1 is approximately 57.8824. Now to find x sub 2, we just need to make one change. We need to change this addition sign to a subtraction sign. 
So instead of entering all this again, we can press second enter, which brings up the previous expression, and now we can arrow back and edit anything that we want. We only have one change here. We want to change again the plus sign to a subtraction sign here. And enter. So x sub 2 is 2065.1945. Now let's take these two solutions back to the previous slide so we can actually find the price. Remember, x is not the price. x is the number of units produced. So now we'll use the price equation to answer the question about what the lowest price and highest price would be to yield revenue of $7,770. So first we'll use x sub 1. So we'd have p equals 138 minus 0 0.065 times 57.8824, so we'll call this P sub 1, and P sub 2 would be equal to 138 minus 0 0.065 times 2065.1945. And now we'll go back to the calculator. And because this is money, we will round to the nearest cent. So for P sub 1, we'll have 138 minus 0 0.065 times 57.8824. So it's the nearest cent, we would have $134.24. And now we'll find P sub 2. So again, if we press second enter, we can just edit the entry here in parentheses which for P sub 2 is 2065.1945. So P sub 2 is $3.76. So if the product is priced at either of these two amounts, the revenue will be $7,770. And we're asked to enter the lowest price here and the highest price here. The units of dollars are already provided. So we'll enter 3.76 here and 134.24 here. I hope you found this helpful.